June, I've got someone in the cab. Yes, I think we can get proof, but we need to follow him now. OK, so what we're going to do is demonstrate cold reading. I've only got the number. 01639 is the area code. So when we're on the call, we want to adopt a friendly accent, so Glaswegian, Geordie, never Belfast, never Scouse. If you can't do the accent, then your voice needs to be comforting, reassuring. Most of the clients are elderly. Chris, you ready? Yep. Good evening, sir. How are you? I'm not buying anything, mate. Don't worry, sir. I'm not selling anything. Right. What can we learn from his voice? Um, he's male, mid-40s, South Wales phone number. Very good. So now you can be whoever you want to be. You can tell them you're from HMRC, bark about unpaid taxes, that's good for a quick one-off payment. Or else you can be from their bank and present some security problem. But that is way, way above your level at the moment. The psychology of the client is everything. So, what do 40-something men in this area worry about? Um, health? Ageing. Pensions. The best thing about pensions is nobody really understands them, but what's different in South Wales? He's Welsh. He might not live long enough to get his pension. <laughs> Come on! You're in business, your newspaper should be pink. Clients in Port Talbot are wary of these calls now. So, you use that strong and stable brand, the government has changed the law, HMRC has changed the rules. Front pages of the tabloids are your way into the working class. Supplements of broadsheets your middle-class worries. Aubrey. You mind if I do this? Continue. I'm calling from Port Talbot Steel Consolidation. We've recently taken over your pension scheme. Have our team spoken to you about changes to your pension? Ah, uh, no, mate. Can I start by running you through security, please? Can you please confirm your name for me? Chris. And Chris, can you just confirm the name of your first school for me, please? Uh, Leak Dragon Academy. Why else do we ask for his details? So then we can phone up his bank, pretend to be him and pass security, and then we can take his savings. You've done your homework? Yes, Mr. Aubrey, sir. No, you can gamble. It's called negation. You work out the answers because you know all the things that it's not. Uh, Chris, sorry, I had the wrong screen up in front of me there. No, your pension is a defined benefit scheme. Clients remember the hits, not the misses. For security purposes, I'm going to need your policy number. Have you got that paperwork to have? Nobody ever does. They leave the phone, gives you time to do some digging. Google is God. Salvation. Second option is information. People don't like to admit that they don't know what you're talking about. So basically just confuse them into agreeing. Chris, if you haven't got the policy number, that's okay. It's just that these new government changes are going to cost you 30% of your pot. Mate, is this legit? Don't freeze. Don't be afraid. How do you answer? So, you, uh, you put a time limit on completing the deal, rush the client. But you can't create a time crisis around pensions, so what do you do? You, you'd say you put them through to a supervisor. Joe, if they ask if it's legit and you're talking pensions, offer to post them brochures. But see, you'll have to do a credit check. Do you want to do this yourself? Do you know how Aubrey got into this business? So see, You'll have to do a credit check, and that will freak them out because they know a credit check will lower their credit score. And if they don't...
Golden rule. You're in control at all times.